Our hymn is Awake My Soul and With the Sun. Hymn number 11. thing I came to church and I'm in the choir loft at St. Luke's and morning prayer begins on page 80 in the Book of Common Prayer Lord open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen alleluia Continue with the Jubilate on page 82. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Our psalm pointed for today is Psalm 72 on page 685, and we will read together verses 1 through 7. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son that he may rule your people righteously and the poor with justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall res rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like a rain upon the mown field, like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16, beginning with verse 1. The Pharisees and Sadducees came, and to test Jesus, they asked him to show them a sign from heaven. He answered them, When it is evening, you say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be stormy today, for the sky is red and threatening. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. An evil and adulterous generation asks for a sign but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. Then he left them and went away. When the disciples reached the other side, they had forgotten to bring any bread. Jesus said to them, Watch out and beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees. They said to one another, It is because we have brought no bread. And becoming aware of it, Jesus said, You of little faith, why are you talking about having no bread? 
Do you still not perceive? Do you not remember the five loaves for the five thousand and how many baskets you gathered? Or the seven loaves for the four thousand and how many baskets you gathered? How could you fail to perceive that I was not speaking about bread? Beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Then they understood that he had not told them to beware of the yeast of the bread, but of the teaching of the Pharisees and Sadducees. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue with the prayers on page 97. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. For we, Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Invite now your prayers of thanksgiving and intercession. We close today with the prayer of St. Chrysostom on page 102. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting in us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.